Hey! You seen your sister this morning? You guys are so off her Christmas card list, she thinks you've forgotten her birthday. <laughs> yeah, we've been avoiding her. Well, Libby's really worried that Mum's going to let the cat out of the bag. Oh, no, nah, we'll be sweet. <laughs> yeah. But, um, we're not actually here to talk about the party. Oh, well... I just wanted to say... Well, um, yesterday at the car accident, you were awesome. Well, I had a pretty decent assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with that little girl, Polly. You were so great, and it kind of oh, got me... Hey, did we ever find out what happened to her and her old man? No, she was discharged with her mum last night. Oh, you have to wonder whether her asthma attack was triggered by her father taking her from school. I don't think so. She really loves her dad. It's just the court system. Um, guys, we're getting a bit off track here. Right. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm sorry. Mm, what's going on? I want to have a baby. I'm going <laughs> to have a baby. Oh, that's so great. And, and I want you to be the donor. <laughs> um, pardon? We both would. Are you serious? I've never been more serious in my life. Well, I, uh... You don't have to say anything right now. I mean, of course, we completely understand that you might need time to think about it. No. Actually, I don't need any time to think about it. I, I am um, amazed and flattered that you would ask me and um, you really know how to knock a guy for six. <laughs> but I have to say no. No. It's just not something I want to do, that... Sorry. No, I'm just a little interested to know if our kids are on the way to a police cell. Can you call me, please? What's up and where are they? <laughs> Hi, love. Where's Hunt? Very rustic. You can get the rest of the bags. Can I get a hug from my mum, please? No. Tell me what happened. Sniffer dogs, they copped a whiff of Sophie and went into a frenzy. He set me up. She was cold. Because she's wearing a handkerchief. I gave her my jacket. Which reeked of dog. To the dogs, anyway. Why, Hunter? This place is so not you guys. Why does your jacket reek of marijuana? I wore it to a party last night. I chucked it down. Somebody must have been smoking near it. <laughs> really? You think I was toking on the old weed, eh? Yeah, I do. Customs guys believe my jacket was a victim of passive smoking. Happens all the time, apparently. So they sent us on our way. Not quite. Do you want to tell your mother how you narrowly avoided assault charges? Oh, please cheer up, lady. I'm so sure he'd say yes. He doesn't want to be a parent. A lot of people feel that way. Oh, it's such a race. Mark is so great with kids. Honey, he said no. There's not a lot that we can do about it. But at least we know now. We've got plenty of time to find someone else. You don't get it, do you? I don't want anyone else. Guests aware that they must not park outside the flat? I told them to park two streets over. Very good. And guests aware that they have to be punctual so that no latecomers run into Tanya on the doorstep and the whole thing's blown. Mm. Anyone running late has to text before they arrive to make sure it's safe. Very good. Mm. Anything else? Playlist. Ah, oh, yes, my iPod. We don't really want to be listening to lesbian music all night. What exactly is lesbian music? Maya! Hi. Hi. Got your story all sorted for tonight? I go over to our rancho. I apologise to Tanya for forgetting her birthday. And then I offer to take her late night shopping to get a birthday present. And then in the car on the way home, you claim, oh, you've forgotten your wallet, and you have to detour past home. Got it. Brilliant. <laughs> and now... For the hard part, I have to call Tarns, tell her I can't spend the evening with her and then I have to go to work instead. And she's going to be home alone on her birthday night. Oh, I hope the expensive glass we survives. Right, um, I'll see you later. Any problems, just text me. I don't foresee any. You have done a fabulous job. I almost couldn't have done better myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, wish I had one of those. Mm. You know, I know I had my doubts about him and Tarns getting back together, but I think it was totally the right decision. He's a great guy. And she's got him right under her thumb. She's so lucky. Yes, yes, yes. That is my best ever.
What are you guys doing? Oh, great, now we're stuck. No, we're not. Baxter is a good boy. Exactly my point. What's going on? Uh, play snap, that's all. Old maid. Just because I whipped you back, there's no need to resort to name calling. Poker. Oh, just a friendly game. No money changing hands or anything like that. Didn't we get a memo? Something about poker being a, a sackable offence? Baxter, you wouldn't tell anyone, would you? No, I wouldn't. If you made it worth my while not to. That's black man. <laughs> what do you want? What do I want? I want you to deal me in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Stop talking. It was too horrible. This customs officer was giving her the eye. Hardly surprising. It was lust at first sight and guess who frisked her. It was so icky. No way. Why wasn't it a woman? Well, it was, but it was still icky. She went way too far and I shoved her. And started screaming. I went to see what was going on and this woman tried to get me to leave. I wasn't going to abandon my hysterical sister, so there was a bit of a scrap. And I arrived just in time to stop this woman calling the police to lay assault charges against the two of them. Well, Dad said I was extremely fragile and had become overwhelmed by the whole situation. But I think it helped when I started blubbing, eh? He helps go for a best supporting actress, go. You'll be blubbing for real when I tell you you're grounded till Christmas, both of you. No way. Always lovely to see you too, Mother. Shh. Chris, I'm running late thanks to my Richard offspring, but I will be there. Fine. I'm just going to pop in on Hannah. Uh, I'll see you in the scrub room, okay? Bye. Hi there. How you doing? Really good. I even managed to get out of bed a while ago with some help. That's excellent. Everything's looking really good. Um, where's Paul? Oh, I sent him home for some rest. <clears throat> yeah, pays to have a supportive partner at times like these. I know. And I bet your wife feels exactly the same way. Though, it must be scary for you two because you're both medical people. You know exactly what can go wrong. They do say doctors and nurses make the worst patients. Oh, not you two. It's amazing. You just carried on doing your job when Tiny was going through the same as me. She really helped me just before my op. She's pretty special. Um, I'm sorry, I, I need to be going. Oh, of course. See you tomorrow. <laughs> 